Across the ring. The counterpunch. Alright, what's the Yo. deal? It's your boy Love on a Hate One. You got my boy Real Talk. He's been fucking with me for a while now. And we finna cook, man. We finna get into this Andy Ruiz versus Deontay Wilder. You know, this is a good fight. This shit should be happening in about December. And I'm ready to cook on it, you know. And you guys probably heard my thoughts on this fight or whatever. But I'm going to give some more finishing touches on it. When it comes down to Deontay Wilder versus Andy Ruiz. In my personal opinion, I feel like Deontay Wilder, he can hurt Andy Ruiz. Although I do feel this, I feel like Andy Ruiz has the best chin that Wilder has faced so far. I also feel like Deontay Wilder, I mean, not Deontay Wilder. I feel like Andy Ruiz has a better chin than Tyson Fury. And he has better recovery than Tyson Fury. So I feel like for Deontay Wilder to really stop Andy Ruiz, it has to be with a, a, a clean punch. It can't be like, you know, a lucky punch. Deontay Wilder has to catch him clean. And even if he do catch him clean, Andy Ruiz, like I said before, he has pretty good recovery. So he will have to worry about recovering. And Deontay Wilder will have to worry about Andy Ruiz recovering. And then get him up, get him up out of there or whatever. Um, I said this before. I do have Deontay Wilder winning this fight, but it won't shock me if Andy Ruiz was able to pull off the upset. Like I know a lot of people out there feel like Deontay Wilder is just basically easy pickings right now, but I always tell people this: you can't use Tyson Fury as a measuring stick on what other fighters can do to Deontay Wilder. And that's just a fact. Now, I try to be unbiased as possible. And when it comes down to Andy Ruiz, it's a few things I can see Andy Ruiz doing to give Deontay Wilder some trouble. Number one, the Andy Ruiz has some very fast hands. He's powerful. And if he's able to stay on Deontay Wilder's chest, which I really don't see him doing because Andy Ruiz don't have the best feet. Tyson Fury has very good feet. Enough to stay on Deontay Wilder's chest when he has to. Andy Ruiz, he has very fast hands, but not the best feet. So I feel like that can play, or Deontay Wilder can capitalize off that. Um, I do have Deontay Wilder winning this fight. No knock to Andy Ruiz. I feel like Deontay, it's not going to be easy as Robert Hellenius, of course. But I do feel like Deontay Wilder, eventually, he's going to find home. And I do see him stopping Andy Ruiz. My last thing I'm going to say about this, keep in mind, you guys, Andy Ruiz been hurt by far lesser punchers than Deontay Wilder. He got, if I'm not mistaken, he got dropped twice by um, Ariola. Okay? Ariola do not hit hard as Deontay Wilder. But that's my thoughts. Real talk. Talk to your boy. <laughs> All right, Brian. Um, I heard what you have to say, and uh, it, it sounds great, actually. You know, I agree with a lot of what you got to say. Mm -hmm. And uh, to, to back that off what you said, Andy Ruiz has some great recovery speed. Yes, he, he do. He got knocked down quick, and he even fell awkwardly when he, when he got knocked down by Joshua in that third round. He fell awkward on his backhand and everything. He looked like he was down. Right. But he got up. He was he was focused on the ref. Never looked dazed. And he, he just he kept banging with him. You know what I'm saying? He, his, his recovery is, is phenomenal. Facts. He does not get enough credit for that. Yeah. Um, and like you said, Wilder has been he has been put down before, you know, and he has you know, he has been put down by a lesser puncher. Mm -hmm. Um and like you say, you know, it is it is a little bit tougher to be unbiased, especially, you know, I'm, I'm a Hispanic myself. So, of course, you know, I'd love to see him rise to the top again. But Wilder, that's a tough bastard, man. He <laughs> he can he can bang and he can throw and he can take as much as he gives. Right. Um, I'm definitely edging Wilder just because um, that power is it, it's not something that you can just 
you can't just take out of the equation. Right. And Ruiz, Ruiz is great. He has some fast hands that come forward. It's definitely going to give Wilder a lot of issues. Right. But as it stands, I mean, Ruiz's best best win is against AJ, and it was uh, an upset that none of us saw coming. And he he let that stardom get to himself. So can he be disciplined enough to stay, you know, stay away from Wilder's right hand enough for for twelve rounds? Is he going to be able to to keep that come forward? You know, or is he? And then the thing about Wilder is Wilder likes to he likes to lay his punch on you. I notice he likes to he likes to extend his left arm and then really set that right hand on you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if if Ruiz has the head movement and the foot movement to to get out of that that setup that Wilder likes to do. And if Wilder can set that up and like you say land it flush, I think he can really sleep Ruiz. Like I really think he could. Yeah. Hell yeah. But um, I definitely have Wilder winning. Um, I would say it'd probably be like a like an eleventh round KO. It would be one of those later KOs. You know what I mean? So you see, like a I tough. I think it'd be. I think it'd be an exciting fight. Yeah, I hell think, yeah. Uh, both hell of them yeah. would bang, but I definitely have Wilder in like an eleventh round KO. I could see that shit too. So basically, you see like a tough fight, a tough fight. But... I definitely see it a tough fight. I think. Uh, I think it'd be an even tougher fight than. Uh, than um Fury? than AJ was for Ruiz. You know I'm saying you know oh, it yeah. would be an even tougher fight than than AJ for Ruiz. You know because uh you know AJ really didn't even want to fight that first fight. We're, we're being honest, he really didn't even want to fight. Um, that second fight, you know, he he really needed his belt back. You know, he needed his get back. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, Ruiz got lazy. He didn't even want to fight that second fight. So <clears throat> I think uh, I think Wilder would be an even tougher test for Ruiz than uh, than AJ was. And, uh, yeah, dude, I, I definitely got Wilder winning that one, though. I got Wilder winning that one, too. Now we can just go back and forth, you know, just on some, we could just basically freestyle now. But let me ask you this. Right. Um, so let me play devil's advocate to make things more interesting because it's, it's obvious we both got Wilder. So if you had to, to give Ortiz the best game plan in your eyes to beat Deontay Wilder, what would you say? So, okay, so Ruiz's best game plan to, to beat Wilder is he has to have a lot of a lot of straight down the pipeline punches. Right. And they have to be fast and coming forward. You know what I'm saying? That's how he's going to really get Wilder off his game plan and uncomfortable. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, we all know Wilder can't really box on his back foot. Yeah, you yeah. You know, we know, yeah. we know Wilder, the, he's the bully fighter and he's ready to, you know, he's going to come at you and he's going he's gonna to beat on you until you go down. But, but real talk, well, let me say this, though. I have to say this. He has been working on. I know Robert Helena is not gonna. It's not a perfect example to display, but he has been working on his back foot lately. Like even in the third, even though he got his ass knocked out by Fury in the third fight, he was fighting on his back foot a lot of the times. Like he's trying to work on fighting on the back foot. I remember Deontay Wilder. He wasn't thinking about the back foot at first. He was everything was just the front foot, and he's trying to knock you out one punch. It seemed like Deontay Wilder is starting. To, he's trying to. To learn how to fight off the back foot a little bit. Yeah, no, yeah, and to your point, uh, I'll even point in, in the Hellenius fight. Uh, I didn't watch it myself personally. I, I, of course, watched the highlight knockout. Right. But you can see in the in the knockout, he clearly baited him. He of clearly course, baited yeah. him. You know that he did that. Uh, he did the same double step back that uh, Cambosa did when he knocked Tio down in the first round. It's just that that slick uh, double step back, and it's just a real quick pop. You know what I'm saying? That's why he went down so quick. It was just. He wasn't expecting it. Yeah, he caught him slipping. Yeah, exactly. He caught mm-hmm. him slipping. So yeah, no. He said to your to your point. Yeah, he definitely has been learning, and he's uh all that bullshit that he wanted to talk about. How oh, I don't have to be uh, you know, I only got to be perfect for one second. I, I'm pretty sure he's learning that's biting him in the ass. Yeah, no. It, but, it, but I have to say this: it only bit him in the ass versus Fury, though. I mean, and this is my thing: who can be Fury though? It's it's like. Nobody can be Fury though. Uh, yeah, that's, I feel like there's a whole other topic, man. I really think Yusuke you th- could uh, get Fury a real you, you big Yus- for his money. You think Yusuke could get him? Oh yeah, man. <laughs> I think uh, that White Rabbit there. Oh yeah. White Rabbit. Yeah. That's my lady in the background over here. 
Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I remember you telling me yesterday. You said your girl a boxing fan. You lucky, man. Shit, I wish I had one. Like oh that. yeah, she loves she loves boxing. Uh, you know, as much as you know, you can get your woman into boxing. Yes, yeah, but she she'll definitely sit and watch the fights with me. You know, she she's a great boxing fan. I definitely try to put her on the right uh the right knowledge. You know what I mean? Right, right. Hell yeah, that's a sub right there. Well, shit, we we basically killed this one, man. Any more closing thoughts on it? Um, uh, I definitely feel like um, I think while uh, excuse me, I think uh, I think Reed, his best shot would be a, a, as much pressure as possible. Uh, and like you said, stay at his chest. If he can stay at his chest, like like I'm saying with those uh, straight down the pipeline punches, right. the way that he was doing uh, AJ in that first fight. Mm-hmm. I think he could really catch Wilder slipping with a hard hook. I could see that too, you know what man. I'm saying? Yeah, you know, like a solid four or five down the pipeline, get him a little dazed, and then like woo woo, and then just boom right to the chest, you know, right to the right to the chin. You know what I'm saying? I could um, see that too. That's why Wilder got to be careful. You know, what I'm everybody's got that puncher's chance, and uh, I mean, everybody know know Wilder's uh, Wilder's biggest weapon is that that one punch chance. You know what I'm saying? So hell yeah, uh, it'll be a, it'll be a real good, exciting fight, but. Uh, that's that's all wilder, man. That's it's if we're being honest, it's all a wash for PBC. They 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 know they're they're lining them up right for Wilder, so that way he can get that title shot again. Uh, I don't see him uh, really struggling with anyone right now, to be honest. Um, it's that fury, but, huh? I, but I think uh, I think Usyk's uh, the top he- uh, heavyweight right now, though. Um, I Ooh. think Usyk uh, give everybody issues that uh you know what big pedigree and he he definitely took his power uh, with him as a heavyweight you know it's not like you know he's not he's not hitting AJ with light punches you know that he was tiring AJ the hell out yeah and, but um, no, he's go got ahead, a go chin ahead. Uh, Usyk definitely has a chin I mean he took some bombs from Chisora and yeah, you, uh, you usually got a chin he, he yeah. even showed that his stamina will hold up to to body work too because. AJ was throwing some some nice combinations to the body that yes, second fight. Hell yeah! And uh, he had he had me and my woman on our on the edge of our seat that whole fight because me too. It was a war, man. It was a war, and uh, Usyk showed that he he can take the best from the best. And uh, I think uh, I think if he can get those fights, I think he can uh, he can show that he is the best. You know what I mean? No, I got you on that a hundred percent. I'm surprised Usyk didn't fall that fight. No, yeah, I, I'm surprised he didn't he didn't take a he didn't take a knee or anything. Yes, I, man. Uh, I can't. I think it was the uh, I want to say it was the eighth round. Uh, AJ threw like a, a three or four piece combination to the body, man. And he was really coming for him. And in that ninth round, he felt like he had Usyk on the ropes. And those, those are two some of the best rounds of heavyweight right there. In the ninth and the tenth round, when you know AJ came for that knockout and he was trying to get him, but you know Usyk survived and came back tenth round. Yeah. Took that ninth round out of the fucking equation, man. It was so, 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 so that's a good fight. That fight. Well, well, Usyk. We all know Usyk. He's a beast. And one thing about Usyk, I think he felt some of those shots from AJ. But I personally feel like Usyk. He knows how to keep the poker face. Yeah, he oh, kept... yeah, yeah. He definitely knows how to. Uh, uh, he knows. Yeah, exactly. Like you said, poker face. He, he keeps the poker face. face. Yeah, he doesn't know he's hurt, but. Yeah, and he was he was getting hit a lot, and uh, if Wilder, if Wilder can uh, if Wilder can show some boxing like AJ can if he can really throw some combinations like that because you know Wilder is still kind of stiff. Yeah, he's uh, yeah he is, he is. If he can throw some combinations on Usyk like that, I think with his power combined, that's gonna be some uh, that's gonna be some devastating power there. It's gonna be some devastating power. You know what? Since we on the topic of Usyk, we talked about the AJ one. Not not the AJ one. We talk about the Wilder versus Ruiz one. What fourteen minutes? So let's just go right into Usyk because I talked to you in a comment section. You told me you would be highly shocked if Usyk got knocked out by Deontay Wilder. Yeah, I so, mean, I, I think. Uh, you know, now hold on, hold, hold on, hold on. We're talking. Can definitely uh, clock. I think he can definitely drop Usyk. Don't get me wrong. Hold on, Wilder hold, hold, dropped every opponent he's he's been in the ring with to date. Now hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say that thought because I. We done with this one from the um